In this lesson, we are looking at energy and work. And quite often, you will hear two terms, energy transferred and work done. Both of these are the same and are related by the equation energy transferred equals work done. There is one other important equation. This is work done is equal to the force times distance. You can use the symbols W equals F times D, but you must remember the units for work are joules, the symbol J, the unit for force is newtons, the symbol N, and the unit for distance is meters, the symbol M. I'll give you a few seconds to learn them. Next, you must make sure that you can rearrange this equation. Can you rearrange it to make force the subject? Did you get it? Force is equal to the work done divided by the distance. Now rearrange it to make distance the subject of the equation. This time, distance is equal to work done divided by force. Let's look at an example. Moving a heavy object such as a wardrobe. So imagine a wardrobe is moved three meters across the bedroom floor with a force of 500 newtons. How much work is done? For a calculation question, I recommend using the data formula, substitute answer and units method. The D stands for data, so look at the question and draw a circle around the data that they are giving you and underline what it is they are asking you to work out. Then identify a formula that uses the data they have given you and what they are asking you to work out and write this down. You can use symbols. S so substitute the values in from the data in the question. A, calculate your answer. You may need to rearrange your equation to do this. And finally, U, give the units and check for any prefixes that might have occurred in the question. Now try applying what you have learned to this question. If 2000 joules of energy is used to move the wardrobe when applying a force of 1000 newtons, how fast is the wardrobe used? and use the data formula substitute answer unit method. How did you do? This is how I would have worked it out. Data. Formula. Rearranging the formula substitute the values, answer and units. So we need to make a quick comment about prefixes. In your GCSE there will be three prefixes you'll commonly come across, kilo, centi and milli. Kilo means a thousand so if you see one kilometer you need to multiply it by a thousand to get the value in meters. Centi means a hundred so if you see, for example, one centimetre, you need to divide the value by a hundred to get the value in metres. And milli means a thousandth, so you need to divide by a thousand to get the value. So one millilitre equals 0 0.001 litres. So bearing all that in mind, have a go at this final question. This is on your own, aiming for level seven. So what force is applied by the wind if it moves a 50,000 kilogram boat distance of 100 meters if it transfers 10,000 kilojoules of energy. You've got 30 seconds. So it was 100,000 newtons or 100 kilonewtons.